took us to look at a very, I would not say fascinating, but I would say very instructional passage in Isaiah chapter 40 today, verses 1 and 2 from our devotions. Isaiah says, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. Tell her that her sad days are gone and that her sins are pardoned. Yes, the Lord has punished her twice over for her sins. Now, I want you to notice a couple of things from this. First of all, I want you to notice that seasons of sin in our life are considered sad days. They're not considered good days. They're considered sad days. Seasons of compromise and seasons of sin in our life are sad days. So when, when you think about, you know, shall I go off into a season of sin? No, 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 please. That's the beginning of sad days. Now, the other thing I want you to see, though, is what does God tell Isaiah about how to talk to people who have repented of their sins? Now, we're not talking about people who are still living in sin. People living in sin, Ezekiel teaches us, you warn a righteous man of his wicked ways. You know, you, you have to get in people's faces and speak the truth in love. But I want you to notice when a person is what I would call post-repentance, when they, they've repented of their sins, he says, speak tenderly. He says, comfort. Now, now those are words of compassion. Those aren't words of judgment and condemnation. When people are post-repentant, comfort them. Speak tenderly to them. Now, now, sometimes as a pastor, it's really interesting. You, you're dealing with somebody who's gotten off into a sad season, a season of sin, sad season. And they've repented, and they, they've come back right. And then you'll get people in the church that want you to kill somebody. You know, just, oh, let's, let's crucify them. Well, no, Jesus was already crucified. Now, you have to understand that when people are post-repentant, when people have repented of their sins, we comfort them. We speak tenderly to them. Maybe the great illustration would be Paul's writings about the guy sleeping with his stepmother in 1 Corinthians. And in 2 Corinthians, he said, now, now comfort this guy. Bring you back in, you know, bring you back in and comfort him. At some point, we have to realize when a person repents, the sad days are over. God restores the joys of their salvation. God begins to rebuild their lives. God begins to rebuild everything that sin has destroyed. So let's watch how we talk to people who have repented. We comfort them. We speak tenderly to them. We tell them the sad days are over. Okay. We tell them, yeah, you've been through a hard time. You reaped twofold. He said, hey, you've been punished twice over, over your sins. You, you've reaped twofold what you did. But those sad days are over. Words of comfort, words of tenderness, words of encouragement to people whose hearts are post-repentant.